Hey guys, uh, welcome to your bonus uh, energy check-in for uh, Scorpio. For the rest of your August, uh, you can apply this to any replacements because this reading can be about anything. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, you guys, okay? So tell me about Scorpio. Scorpio. Energy check-in for Scorpio over energies for Scorpio for uh, the rest of their August. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Two of Swords here, Scorpio. And the Empress here, Libra, Taurus here, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Pentacles here and the Two of Swords. Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Seems like you're in this energy of manifesting and attracting here, okay? One of the things I'm getting here is I just feel like you're not wasting your time on, you know, confusion, you know, on people that, you know, waste your time and energy here. You know, I just feel like you're redirecting that energy where you invest your time and your energies here, okay? You know, I just feel like, you know, with the Empress here, you guys could be in this, like, really creative energy at this time, all right? Um, you know, I do feel like some of you guys could be birthing something new here. I mean, whatever this is, this could be something very emotionally fulfilling here for you, okay? I, I do feel like you guys are in this really creative space here. Um, you know, one of the things I'm feeling like you guys could create art, you know, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, some of you guys might make jewelry and you guys might like sell it on Etsy, like earrings or something like that, or bracelets or like rings and stuff like that, okay? Even necklaces too. We have a five of cups here. And the Eight of Wands, okay, They're, these cards are sticking together here. There's like multiple cards flying out. We have the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, okay. We have the Eight of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles here. So there's a sense of like, you know, whatever you're creating here, when it comes to your creativity and your artwork here, I do feel like it's taking off here. Okay, I do feel like you've overcome a lot of sadness here, a lot of grief, a lot of disappointment here, and I feel like you're you're finding happiness again here. We have four plus five cups here equals nine. Okay, three of pentacles here. All right, let's see what else we have here. The empress. Why is the empress here? We have the eight of pentacles, four of swords. Okay, and the eight of pentacles here. Yeah, whatever this is, whatever you're doing here, Scorpio, you are doing it by hand. You are making it yourself. And then you're putting out there to sell, okay? So whatever this is, this is really hard work here. You know, with the Three of Pentacles here, it could be an indication that there is someone here that's helping you here. You know, with the Four of Swords here, I just feel like you're this, like, very peaceful and stable energy here. You know, a lot of you guys have turned to meditation here, and I feel like maybe that meditation is helping you find clarity on what you're meant to do, what you're supposed to do in life here. And perhaps it's this art thing or this creativity thing that you're doing here. The uh, Four of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles here uh, and the Page of Cups. No, Two of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are excited about this new venture that you're starting here. And I feel like, you know, with the Two of Pentacles here, you could be juggling a lot. Also, you could, be, you could also be collaborating with other people here too. But whatever this is, I do feel like this is like really taking off here. This really is. Yeah, with the Two of Swords, if you had some sort of confusion about your life here, I feel like you couldn't be more clear about your life now because, like I said, uh, you, you, th this is going to grow. This is going to expand here, okay? So let's see. What else do we have for, for Scorpio? What does a Scorpio need to know, look out for, and work on here for the rest of their August, from, uh, for, uh, uh, for the rest of their August 2023 for Scorpio? For Scorpio. We have the Five of Swords. 
with a star card. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like whatever you're doing here, there's definitely a lot of competition out there here, especially, I don't know how the jewelry business is, you know, but I, 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 I don't know why I get the sense that it's jewelry. Yeah, like I said, you could be, it could be an online business. You guys are marketing all this on social media. This is on Etsy and stuff like that. I do feel like this is, got, this is very public or people know about it. Yeah, this is very public. People know about it. Okay, the star card here, Aquarius energy. We have the two of wands here. We have the ace of pentacles, the five of wands, and the three of swords here. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Two of wands and the five of wands. Seems like you have a lot of decisions to make here. I do feel like there's a lot of people that could be in and around you that's jealous about what you're doing here. Or that you're beating out the competition here. Yeah, you're beating out the competition here. And I feel like these people could be like, what the what the F is going on? Like, how is Scorpio doing this here? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Three of Swords here. I do feel like there are people that are trying to hurt you or sabotage your business here. Okay, but whatever is going on here, there is prosperity here. Yeah, there is prosperity here. Okay, you know, it seems like you, you are definitely stressing out the competition here. With the star card and the ten of cups here, you know, I just, and the wheel of fortune, I just feel like you're meant to do this or that you're destined to do this here because I'm seeing happiness here. I'm seeing stability here, okay? Some of you guys could be moving to a new home or that some of you guys are using the money that you are getting to buy a new home or to renovate your home at this time. Yeah, there's definitely celebration that's happening here, okay? You know, this could also be an indication that there's someone from your past here that's trying to come back and reconcile here with you for breaking your heart because I feel like this person wants a new beginning here with you. But look at that. We have the Emperor and the Star card here. Not the Star card, the Sun card. This could be an indication that Scorpio, there could be a, a soulmate that's coming in for you. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. Whoever this is, I feel like this is a divine counterpart that you're meeting here. I mean, you could be meeting this person through your work, you know, or that, you know, maybe this person is curious about your work and they feel like it sparks up a conversation here and they feel like that's how this person becomes interested in you here. Okay, I'm just going to pull a few more for this new person. But yeah, whoever this is, this is an individual that definitely has a crush on you. There's a def there's definitely a passion new beginning that's happening here. Yeah, whoever this emperor is, Scorpio, this person's going to make you incredibly happy. So, you know, if someone here from your past is coming back trying to reconcile here with you, I do feel like this person's a bit of a blip on the radar here, okay? This person could have disappointed you, juggled you in the past. This person could have been very immature here. So whoever this is, this is an individual that you're leaving behind here, okay? But when it comes to something that you're starting here, yeah, you're definitely beating out the competition or that things are really taking off here, okay? So, um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.